All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are for uh, Chelmsford High School varsity field hockey. This is senior night, October 26, 2016. That was a great rendition of the national anthem by Allie Hirsch. We've got a beautiful night here at George Simonian Stadium. A win tonight means Chelmsford High School varsity field hockey clinches the MVC2 championship. That was a really nice event for, uh, for the seven senior girls tonight. Maybe what we should do is read off some of those girls. Number two, Captain Stephanie Gillette. Number nine, Captain Isabel Danahy. Number five, Julia Squarey. Number 13, Rachel O'Connell. Number 14, Kristen Hohenstein. Number 15, Meg Dugas. And number 94, Jess Hopkins. And the game has begun. Tewksbury obviously won the first quarter. have a stop suddenly for uh, for Chelmsford but they're moving it down the field the Lions have a record of 15 one and one this should be a good game for them tonight Well, the Lions have the, uh, the ball down in Tewksbury territory. Tewksbury had it down in the Lions territory off the faceoff, but since then it's been down here in Tewksbury territory. see Cody number 18 is bringing it in gives it to Julia Squarey <laughs> Tewksbury's got a record of 5-7-3 and three. Steph Gillette, the captain, has got the ball there. That was driven in by, by number nine, Isabel Danahy. Well, it's probably going to take a little bit to get heated up here, folks. It is 41 degrees at Simonian Stadium. Here's Steph Gillette there with a shot in to go. She's got the ball again. Another shot saved by the goalie. Julia Square has got the ball. Kate Gillette. Okay, coming back, broken up by number 13 for Chelmsford, Rachel O'Connell. Yeah. 
That was a shot in by Meg Dugas. Shot wide. Again, Lions clearly controlling the ball down to the Tewksbury end of the field. Out of bounds will be brought in by number 18, Chelsea Cody. Okay, Tuxbury's bringing it back up. They've got an open field right now. Broken up there by Kristen Hohenstein. That was a nice break up there. Okay, the coverage right now by number 10, Kate McQuaid. Kate's able to bring that up. Get it to Julia Squarey, who passes it off to Chelsea Cody. Back to Julia Squarey. That's a nice pass. That's up to number three, Lily Cardone. Play it, he says. Oh, Meg Dugas with the shot on goal. Chelsea Cody's able to keep it down in the Tewksbury end of the field. Nice play by Kristen Hohenstein to keep it in play. Penalty there. Number 14, Kristen Hohenstein again, bringing the ball up into Tewksbury territory. Kristen's been out on injury. It's nice to see her back. Key player in this team. Kate Gillette, number 19, hands it off to number 18, Chelsea Cody who sends it into the middle. Steph Gillette has the ball. Got it on the outside. She's going to send it in the middle to someone. Julia Squarey, number five, with the first goal of the game. That was a terrific show of how these girls come together handling the ball around the outside and bringing it right in. Coach Devaney's done a nice job. I think it's going to be tough for her to to lose seven seniors, and she certainly felt it tonight on senior night. Chelsea goal, number five, senior, Julia Squarey. That's nice stick handling there by uh, Emily Dion. Bringing it up the sideline. Again, it would be terrific for these senior girls tonight if they had a win. It would mean they clinched the, the MVC2 championship. What a nice way if you're a senior to, uh, to celebrate that. Chelsea Cody, number 18, brings it in. Sticks with it. Pass off to number five, Julia Squarey. Broken up by Tewksbury. 
Now stopped by Kate McQuaid, number 10. Kate McQuaid sticking right with that, bringing it back to the center to Stephanie Gillette, who passes it over to Emily Dion on the side. She shoots it in. Cooksbury is able to break it out. Chelsea Cody with a nice stop in the air there. Kate McQuaid breaks up the play. Sorry, that's Kate Gillette. One would think I'd know that name. There is Kate McQuaid breaking up the play. Getting it back to Stephanie Gillette. Gillette breaks it up again. Tuxbury breaks up the play. Bring it up the side with number 19, Kate Gillette. Number 13, Rachel O'Connell broke up that play. Tuxbury's got the ball now down in Chelmsford territory. Bring it in closer to the net. tooksbury has got number four, Claire O'Neill on him. Kate Gillette's able to pull it out. A lot of players around the front of the net. Again, scores one nothing here in uh, Simonian Stadium with about uh, 19 minutes left to go in the game. In the half, I apologize. Shot out by Kate Gillette over to Julia Squarey. She passes it up to Chelsea Cody. Tuxbury broke up the play. Gillette's in the midfield, able to break it up. Sticking with him, Tuxbury took the ball back. Kate McQuaid broke it up. Sends the ball at the sideline, but Tuxbury stopped it. These girls are active tonight. Took a little while to get warmed up, given the temperature. Emily Dion on the play there. Oh, Tuxbury sends it in with a nice hit. Nice reverse shot there. Tuxbury's got it in front of the, the Chelmsford area again. That's a nice save. Goalie came out, Jess Hopkins. Got the ball well out of Chelmsford territory. Being brought up the sideline now by Emily Dion. She passes it up to Lily Cardone. Lily's pass over the middle for Meg Dugas. Gets broken up by Tuxbury. Chelmsford ball. Chelmsford's first opportunity here with a corner. Number five, Julia Squarey will hit it in. Chelmsford's pretty strong with these. Stephanie Gillette 
over to Emily Dion. Back to Stephanie Gillette. Back into Meg Dugas. While the ball went in, it was not called a goal. Tewksbury ball. That was a good try there by the Lions. Another corner by Chelmsford. This time it's going to be brought out by Emily Dion. Emily Dion over to Stephanie Gillette. Back to Meg Dugas. Tewksbury ball again. A couple of opportunities missed there by Chelmsford. there with Stephanie Gillette. Oh, she's got it right back in front of the Tewksbury goal. Meg Dugas being aggressive, getting into the front. Julia Squarey with the ball. Stopped by Kate Gillette, but Tewksbury's now got the ball. Number 13, Rachel O'Connell, able to break it up and stop Tewksbury in order for Chelmsford to, to hit it back. It was number eight, Ingrid Haywood, who was able to pull that ball from the defense. Chelmsford's clearly kept the ball down in Tewksbury territory for the evening. They're controlling the ball very well, which would indicate their 15-1-1 one one record. They've really played well as a team. Well, nice hit by Tewksbury. Got the ball back into Chelmsford territory. and gentlemen we've uh, we've officially hit the 30s here in Chelmsford 39 degrees here at the game yeah, I'm good. I'm good Chelsea Cody clears it up the sideline into Tewksbury territory yeah coach Moore Devaney along with her assistant coaches Sam Padara Alana Busby and, and Sam Rowe have really, really done a nice job. Chelmsford controlling the ball very well tonight. That's clearly number nine, Isabel Danahy, one of the captains that's keeping the ball in Tewksbury territory. It's number 19, Kate Gillette, that keeps it from going back into Chelmsford's territory. tewksbury has got the ball. Number eight, Ingrid Haywood. Able to break that up a little bit. Kate Gillette with a nice sweep upfield. A couple of Chelmsford players there that were able to get the ball. Chelsea Cody is able to get it back down to Tewksbury territory. Julia Squarey, one of the seniors, gets in the middle. Oh, so close. Number eight. That actually is number six, Claire Danny, I apologize. Julia 
this query back to Stephanie Gillette. It's actually Isabel Dianahy. The coldness gets to us all. 11 minutes left in the half. Score Lions 1. Tuxbury nothing. Nice crowd for these girls on senior night. I think they're all waiting to see if a MVC2 champ title could be had. Kate Gillette breaks it up. Back to number eight, there's Ingrid Haywood. Who's got the ball back for Chelmsford. Number 18, Chelsea Cody's going to take it out. Nice pass across the field. Brought up in the middle by Emily Dion. She passes it over to number nine, Isabel Danahy. It looks like we've got another corner for Chelmsford. We'll see if they can capitalize on this opportunity. Taking it out is Emily Dion. Tuxbury breaks that up. That was a number, a nice play by number five, Jessica Legero for Tuxbury to break that up. Number 13 for Chelmsford, Rachel O'Connell. Gets it back to Chelmsford midfield. Chelmsford ball at the 50 yard line. Emily Dion walking by Tuxbury. Shot on net, no good. But we've got another corner. This is the fourth corner for the Chelmsford Lions. Ball comes out, given to number 19, Kate Gillette. She's got a sweep in the middle. Chelmsford scores. What a great play for Chelmsford. They finally capitalized on that corner. That was Chelmsford's number three, Lily Cardone. Chelmsford goal, number three, Lily Cardone. And you really do need to capitalize on the corners. That was a nice play there by number one, Riley Mitchell, to break that up. But now, Tewksbury does have the ball down to Chelmsford territory. Broken up by Steph Gillette coming up the sideline. Steph Gillette passes it back to Kate Gillette. Tewksbury's now got the ball. Bringing it into Chelmsford territory. Yes, I do. Stephanie Gillette over Meg Dugas. Yes, 
Claire Danny he bringing it up the sidelines. Once again, although Tewksbury had it down in Chelmsford territory, Chelmsford has really controlled the ball a bit and kept it primarily down in Tewksbury side of the field. Tewksbury is bringing it back up the field. They didn't get too far. Number eight, Ingrid Haywood, able to stop that. Keep it down in Tewksbury territory. Once again, number eight, Ingrid Haywood breaking that up. Number nine for Tewksbury having some challenges there. Riley Mitchell staying right on it. Once again, number two, Stephanie Gillette, passing it back to number 19, Kate Gillette. Tewksbury's got the ball, covered by Meg Dugas. Now bringing brought up by Julia Squarey on the opposite side of the field that she was previously, playing multiple positions. There we have it again. Chelmsford's goal, third of the night. Chelmsford goal, number 15, Meg Dugas. Assisted by number seven, Emma Belay. That was a nice goal by Meg Dugas. Aggressive player. Chelmsford still controlling the ball very well. Number 17, that's Julia Diagostino breaking up that play, keeping it down to Tewksbury's end of the field. Meg Hohenstein getting it back into the middle for And that's a goal by Julia Diagostino. Four nothing Chelmsford. Coach clearly saw the Chelmsford opportunity to put in some 15, more energy for some of the girls that had been winded. I don't think Julia was on the field for 20 seconds and had a goal. Fantastic job by coaching. 
Meg Dugas again breaks up that play. Ball broken up there by Claire O'Neill, sent back. Number eight, Ingrid Haywood, breaking it up. Again, Stephanie Gillette, bringing it right up the middle. She sends the pass to Julia Diagostino that's a little long. Ingrid Haywood with the ball. Sending it up to Meg Dugas. That ball goes over to Julia Diagostino. Right in the middle by Stephanie Gillette with a big hit. Just wide of the net. Tewksbury bringing it up the field, but Chelmsford stops them again. Oh, goal. goal not counted because it was outside of the circle. While it did go in the net, it does not count. Riley Mitchell with the ball over to the middle. Tewksbury broke that up. Keep McQuaid assisted there by Ingrid Haywood to keep the ball down in Tewksbury into the field. Stephanie Gillette with a pass back to Julia Squarey. All the way up to the front of the field for Julia Diagostino who's able to run it down. Sending it over to the middle. Stephanie Gillette with a big hit. And that's the end of the half. With a score, Chelmsford Lions four, Tewksbury zero. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a five minute break. We'll be back in the second half shortly.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Again, Lions leading this game four to nothing. Maybe they can pull off history like Rocky Marciano did in uh, the Joe Lewis fight in 1951 and pull off an MVC championship here tonight. Hopefully the weather won't impact the uh, the girls here. It is cooling down even more. We're at a balmy 37 degrees. The teams have switched sides of the field. Chelmsford clearly controlling the ball in that first half. Already has it back down into Tewksbury's territory. You know, I've had the opportunity to see many of these girls play for many years, and I will say this is a strong team. Nice bond with all these, these girls here. It's going to be tough to see those seven seniors go. Good attempt there by Chelmsford, but there's clearly some question on the field here. Not sure what the ref is doing. That was a goal. There was quite a bit of confusion in the front of the net there. That's a goal by Chelmsford, who now leads 5-0, as the ref just noted it is now a running clock. Chelmsford goal, number 12, Emily Dion. Well, and there was Emily Dion with the goal there. Strong sophomore. I had the opportunity to watch Emily up at uh, Holy Cross. Uh, she was there with uh, with Kate Gillette last weekend playing in a clinic. These girls really work beyond just the uh, the Chelmsford High School team. Chelmsford once again bringing it back to Tewksbury territory. That's Emily Dion's pass over to Claire Danahy in the middle. Back to Emily Dion. Broken up by Isabel Danahy. Rachel O'Connell and Emma Boulay on the, the play there, breaking it up. But Tewksbury does finally have the ball at midfield, bring it into Chelmsford territory. That's broken up by number eight, Ingrid Haywood. This is the first corner for Tewksbury. Looks like the ball will be brought out by Ryan Quinn. She's a freshman for Tewksbury, that is. No, that ball is broken up by Rachel O'Connell. Nice play there. After all, it is Jess Hopkins last night here as a goalie for Chelmsford. She needs a few shots on her. Chelmsford's pursuit of another goal. Broken up by Tewksbury. They're working hard at it. We're clearly glad people could join this uh, session of Chelmsford Telemedia here. We know that it is the World Series in game two. They did have to start it early because of their, uh, their weather in Cleveland. I'd much rather watch Chelmsford High School Lions field hockey over Cleveland any day. 
but it would be nice to see the Cubs win a World Series for the first time in a long time. Looks like Chelmsford's got the opportunity for yet another corner. It's brought out by Emily Dion. Isabel Danahy shoots it in. But that was saved by Riley Cody. The goalie for Tewksbury. Redmen haven't had a lot of opportunity down the Chelmsford end of the field tonight. Chelmsford has played this strong. Emily Dion once again sends it over to the middle. Broken up by Tewksbury's defense. Tewksbury's breaking through the Chelmsford line. Wide. Shot wide from Tewksbury. That was a powerful blast by Tewksbury, though. Up in the air. But the shot went wide. Chelmsford's got the ball. Claire O'Neill's bringing it out. Yeah. Tewksbury again in control of the ball right now. Sends it over to the middle. Reverse. Nice, nice save by Jess Hopkins. That was a split save there. Great play. Chelmsford clears it back out. Large hit by Stephanie Gillette. Now well, Tewksbury had an opportunity to get on the board there. Unsuccessful in their efforts. Chelmsford's now got the ball heading back down downfield. Number one, Riley Mitchell. Really controlling that pass, the Tewksbury defense women. Kate Gillette breaks up the play. Tewksbury once again, heading down into Chelmsford territory. Sends it over to the middle. Broken up by Claire O'Neill. Cleared by Chelsea Cody up to Julia Diagostino heading up the sidelines. Right past the Tewksbury Redmond women in this case. Stephanie Gillette coming right through the middle and popping the ball out. Hands it over to Julia Squarey, who passes it back to the middle to Stephanie. Meg Dugas with a shot on net. Julia Di Diagostino, I believe, got that in. Are they going to call that a goal? They are going to call that a goal. That is six to nothing, the Lions. Boy, I tell you, 
These girls certainly Jones deserve the MVC championship. Julia D'Agostino. Yeah, so for those uh, interested, the, uh, the MIAA Division I tournament will start next Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, we'll find out more over the coming days. That will be at home. We've now got a timeout called. Yeah, so again, with tonight's clinch of the MVC2 championships, Chelmsford will certainly be playing next Wednesday or Thursday the MIAA Division I tournament. For those just joining, I would like to read off the, the seniors again. Uh, number two, Stephanie Gillette. Number nine, Isabel Danahy, both captains. Number five, Julia Squarey. Number 13, Rachel O'Connell. Number 14, Kristen Hohenstein. Number 15, Meg Dugas. And of course, number 94, Jess Hopkins, who is the goalie and has done a fantastic job tonight with a shutout thus far in the game. About 19 minutes left in the game here. Girls coming back onto the field now. I'm sure the Tewksbury coach trying to get their team a little fired up here to, to get onto the board. Well, Chelmsford certainly pulled one off over the World Series where it's just one to nothing, the Cubs over the Indians. Tewksbury driving the ball up midfield. Broken up by number 14, Kristen Hohenstein. She's taken down by a Tewksbury player. For those of you out there that have watched this game, Kristen is one of the fastest players I have seen. Julia Diagostino working the stick handling back to Chelsea Cody. She brings it over to the middle, broken up by a Tewksbury Red woman. Julia Squarey keeps it into Chelmsford territory. Gillette with a nice stop, keeping it down into uh, Tewksbury territory. <laughs> Stephanie Gillette back to Julia Squarey. Brings it up with a shot that's wide. Friday night, Chumpsville High School football team will be playing Revere at home here. Looking for a second win in a row after their double overtime win last week. Meg Dugas with a big hit from Chelmsford territory all the way up to the other end of the field. Julia Diagostino with some wheels getting back there before it goes out of bounds. Gets it over to Stephanie Gillette in the middle. She passes it over to Julia Squarey on the side. 
back to Stephanie Gillette. Kate Gillette coming in with a big sweep. Tewksbury's able to get it out. Pass back to Chelsea Cody over to Stephanie Gillette. Ball is out of bounds. But Chelmsford ball. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to have something similar as to 1881 in the shootout at the OK Corral. There won't be any shootouts here tonight for a win unless something dramatically changes in this game. Six to nothing, Chelmsford High School Lions over Tewksbury Redmond, women, with about 14 minutes left to go in the second half. Kay McQuaid's pass over to Kate Gillette. Tewksbury ball. Julia Squarey able to keep it in Tewksbury territory, but that's out of bounds. Tewksbury not able to hold on to the ball there. Chelmsford controlling once again. Core number one, Riley Mitchell losing a, losing a shoe. Chelmsford passing it around the horn. Big hit there by Stephanie Gillette, went wide of the net. Comes back again for a follow-up shot, but that shot goes wide. Certainly a little quiet out there now from the crowd. Tewksbury bringing up the field. That's broken up by Emma Boulay. <laughs> Stephanie Gillette's pass over to Chelsea Cody. Not able to keep an inbound. Working some stick handling through the Tewksbury defensemen, women. A lot of whistles in the game of field hockey, folks. Been watching this for many years, can't say I fully understand them all at this point. Very dramatic type game, if you will, but a lot of fun to watch. Had some opportunities to attend some tournaments recently. Let's break up by Kate Gillette there, bringing it back down into Tewksbury territory. Being brought up by number one, Riley Mitchell. Shot on net's gone wide again. Yes, yeah, a number of young men uh, playing field hockey in some of the tournaments that I've attended recently. My understanding is the United States is the only team, the only country rather, without a men's field hockey team. Chelsea's got the ball in front of the net. 
here's a sea of red men. Chelsea Cody's pass over to Kate Gillette. Her pass over to number six, Claire Danahy. Emma Boulay keeps it in Tewksbury territory. And folks, we're under 10 minutes to play in the game. Clearly looking good for the Chelmsford High School Lions in clinching the MVC2 championship tonight. Tewksbury bringing the ball up, broken up by Kate Gillette. Very aggressive activity going on out there. That's number six. Claire Danahy making sure that ball stays in the in the Tewksbury territory. Chelsea Cody passing it up to Julia Diagostino. But Tewksbury able to Bring it up. No, that is now Chelmsford's ball again. Chelsea Cody with a nice flick in the air. Hand it off to number nine, Isabel Danahy. Chelmsford's got the ball in front of the net. It goes wide. I tell you, good stick handling though by the Chelmsford offense. You know, it's nice to see some of the other teams come to support, uh, support each other. I am joined here in the booth by a couple of the Chelmsford High School football players. That's number nine, Isabel Danahy, passing it over to the sidelines. The number seven, Emma Boulay. Emma's got the ball again, sending it back to number 19, Kate Gillette. Kate Gillette sends it over to number eight, Ingrid Haywood, who gets it to Julia Diagostino. What stick handling. Boy, they are just dancing around this field. Well, the ball went in the net, folks, but I don't think that counted. They're outside the circle. No goal. That was a nice stop there by Riley Mitchell. Emma Boulay keeping it in the vicinity of Tewksbury. Kate Gillette takes a long shot from just under midfield, just wide. Hello? Hello? Tewksbury clears it down into Chelmsford's territory. That's broken up by <laughs> number 14, Kristen Hohenstein. Handed off to Chelsea Cody. Kate Gillette stops the ball. Back up to number eight, Ingrid Haywood. Get 
Tewksbury's got the ball in Chelmsford territory. Emily Dion is able to clear that out. Emily Dion keeps it over to Chelsea Cody. Chelsea's pass up to Julie D'Agostino gets by two Tewksbury Red women. Once again, Ingrid Haywood keeping it in ball of play of uh, Tewksbury territory. That's number three, Lily Cardone. HLF keeping it down on the field of Tewksbury. Getting very aggressive there with the Tewksbury team. Tewksbury now with the ball, bringing it up. Stop, great stop by Kristen Hohenstein. Number three, Lily Cardone. Goes wide of the net. Tewksbury's ball again stopped by Riley Mitchell. Emily Dion passing back to Ingrid Haywood. Tewksbury ball. About three minutes left in the game to play. Chelmsford High School Lions up. Six to nothing. But Tewksbury does have the ball in Chelmsford territory. It's in front of the net. Kate Gillette sweeps it out. Ball once again up into Tewksbury territory. Julia Diagostino does a nice job of keeping it down there. Passing it over to number one, Riley Mitchell. That shot once again goes wide by number three, Lily Cardone. I don't believe they'll stop the clock for anything at this point with just about two minutes left to play, given it's six to nothing. I believe that is, uh, that is a rule. At least the refs have asked to keep the clock running. Emily Dion's pass over to Chelsea Cody. Back to Julia Diagostino, goes out of bounds. Yes, that is correct. We're now down to about a minute and a half. And they are just going to let it run. Nice stick handling by Chelsea Cody. Chelmser really is doing some nice passing right now. About a minute left to play, and this will be one nice celebration for the seniors here, as well as the rest of the team, and clearly Coach Devaney. They will have a 16-1-1 record and be the MVC2 champions. Chelmsford's got a corner. That's given to number 19, Kate Gillette, who passes it off to Emily Dion. Back to Kate Gillette. Broken up by Tewksbury. Emily Dion keeps it in play. Kristen Hohenstein with the ball. Back to Emily Dion, who's got a reverse. Kristen Hohenstein bringing it up. 
Once again, a corner. However, the game is going to end. I am not certain. I do not. I am not certain that they can win with a corner. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. That was indeed a couple of guests there, and that's fantastic for these Chelmsford High School Lion girls. 16-1-1 one one record under Coach Moore Devaney. They are officially the MVC2 champions. Again, the MIAA Division I tournament will be next Wednesday or Thursday here at home. For those seniors, one heck of a special night. For myself, Bill Gillette, it was a pleasure to be here. Good night, folks.